Hello learners, welcome to Easy Elim Learning Simplified. My name is teacher Jonathan and in our today's lesson Mathematics for Grade 6, today we will be working on whole numbers and today we will look at total value of digits up to hundreds of thousands. Total value of digits up to hundreds of thousands. And just to remind ourselves, while we were in grade 5, we looked or we learned. You learned on the place value of digits up to tens of thousands or a five digit number. You learned the place value up to a five digit number and today we will be going a bit higher with a five digit number. Now my question is how do you find total value of a number? How do you find total value of digits in a number? How do you find total value of digits in a number? And just to remind ourselves, we also said total value, we cannot work total value, not unless first we have learned on the place value. And in our, place, in our previous lesson, we saw that place value is the position of each digit in a number. For example, for example, I would like us to pair up or we go to our groups. Kindly let us join our groups. And after we join our groups, pick a pair of scissors and a manila pepper with you. A manila pepper with you and a pair of scissors. Remember, as you hand over the manila pepper in your the manila pepper and the scissors in your group, scissors are a bit tricky. They are sharp, they can hurt ourselves, so let us undo them with a lot of care. Let us undo them with a lot of care. Let us cooperate as we work out the numbers. And now as we work out, I would like us now, we cut the following digits, or we write the following numbers on that manila paper, then we cut them out. And the digits are as follows. The digits that we are writing on that manila paper are as follows. Write the following digits. We have four. Write four. Write seven also. Three. Two. One. That is a five digit number that we have written there and we learned of the five digit number while we were in grade five. So let us first identify that five digit number. We have four, seven, three, two, and one. Can you kindly cut each digit apart? Then after that, use the, the same way we place them in our place pocket so that we can identify their position. And we start with one. In our groups, remember we are group working or we are working as one team. So one is in the place value of ones, two is in the place value of tens, and we have three in the place value of hundreds, and then we have four, or the next digit is seven, in the place value of thousands, and finally our final digit is digit four in the place value of tens of thousands. That is where we had reached while we were in grade four, or you learned up to that position. Five digit number ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, and tens of thousands. Now, total value. What is total value now? Total value is amount is the amount attached to each digit. The amount attached to each digit or the value attached to each digit we call is total value. Total value. Total value. Total value, what is total value? It is the amount of value, amount of value attached to each digit. Amount of value attached to each digit. Or amount of value attached to a digit. That is what we call total value. For example, in this number, we have digit one. What is the amount of value attached to digit one? 
Remember, we have seen one as once in the place in the place value. So, how do we calculate or how do we know the total value? Total value. This is how we calculate total value. Total value. Total value is equals to the digits. The digits. Total value is equal to digit multiplied by its place value. Place value. You multiply by its place value. For you to get the total value, multiply that digit by its place value. For example, our first digit is digit number 4. Digit 4. So we will pick digit 4 because we want to look for the total value. We multiply by place value. Its place value. Digit 4. The place value of digit 4 is 10 thousands. So we will multiply it by 10 thousands. So when you multiply, the total value of that digit will be 4 thousands 40 thousands so we have attached amount we have attached amount to this digit 4 and the amount we have attached it is 40 thousands how do have we arrived to 40 thousands it is the digit itself multiplied by its place value and then we have seen digit number 4 Place value or its place value is 10,000. So we have multiplied it by 10,000 to get its amount of value. Then we have the next digit is 7. So it means 7 will multiply it by what? We come back here. 7 is in the place value of the thousand. So we multiply it by a thousand. And when you multiply by a thousand, what do you get? 7,000. We get 7,000. So 7,000, it is the amount of value attached to digit 7. Amount of value attached to this digit 7 is 7,000. The next digit is digit number 3. 3 is in the place value of hundreds. So it means now you take 3, you multiply by 100. And once you multiply, you get 300 as its total value. So you can do the same to 2 and 1. 2 multiplied by 10. When you multiply 2 by 10, you get 20. And finally, you have 1 multiplied by 1s to get 1. So that is our answer. So the total value of digit 3 is 300. Total value of digit 7 is 7,000. Total value of digit 1 is 1 because it is 1 multiplied by 1 according to its position on the place value chart. With that, learners, now we have understood how to work out for the total value. Remember, I asked a question how do you work out or how do you find out total value of digits in a number? How do you find total value of digits in a number? Then that is how we have found the total value. Again, using our pair of scissors and the manila paper, can you cut the following numbers also? Can you cut the following number or the following digits? Cut the following digits. We have five, we have six, we have two, we have nine, four, and three. This is now a six digit number. Six digit number, we want to place it in our place value chart or the place value pocket. We want to know the position of each digit because for us to calculate the total value, we have to know first their place, their position, because this gives us why we have to look first for the place value, their positions first. So the position of each digit will help us calculate the total value. So can we start by positioning? Digit 3 to the place value of 1s. The next digit is 4 to the place value of 10s. So can you put it in the, that pocket? 9 in the place value of 100s. Can you put in its pocket? We also have digit 2 in the place value of 1000s. So put it in its pocket. 
The next one is a digit six in the place value of tens of thousands. And finally, our final digit is digit number five in the place value of hundreds of thousands. That is now where we are. Then after you put them like that now, look for their total value. And now if we look for the total value of each digit, we start with the digit five. So our digit five, we multiply it by its place value. And the place value of digit five is 100,000. So we multiply it by 100,000 to enable us get its total value. And the total value will be 500,000. The next digit is digit six. Six, you multiply by its place value, which is 10,000. So you multiply by 10,000 and you get 60,000 as its total value. The next digit is digit two. Two, you multiply by its place value, which is a thousand. So once you multiply, you get 2000. The next digit is digit nine. Nine, you multiply by its total value or its place value, which is nine, or which is 100. And once you multiply, you get 900. The next digit is digit four in the place value of tens. So you take four, multiply by 10 to get 40. And finally, the final digit is digit three, multiply by its total value, place value, which is one to get three. And that is the total value of each digit in that number. That is the total value of each digit in that number. And that is how we work out the total value. Remember, total value is the digit itself you multiply by its place value. And as we wind up our lesson, learners work out the following task. What is the total value? What is the total value of digit seven? What is the total value of digit seven? Total value of digit seven In the following, what is the total value of digit seven? In the following, we have seven, six, nine, eight, one, zero, but two, we also have one, seven, zero, two, three, and four. And finally, and finally, we have two, three, one, seven, zero, Eight. What is the total value of digit seven in each of these numbers? Number seven, digit seven, digit seven. Work out the total value. Remember the total value is the digit multiplied by its place value. At your home, you can request your parents or guardians. Help you come up with as many numbers as possible and try to locate or to find the total value of each digit in the numbers that you've come up with. See you in the next lesson.